dog created in Islam? You believe it or not, Allah have a dog. His name is Qatmir. And this dog, he, uh, 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 Allah Prophet, he sent, he, you know, he said to his prophet, his cousin, don't you fear the, the Lord of the star? His cousin, he said, I don't fear. Then Allah, he sent his dog and he ate the cousin of Muhammad. I mean, how do how this religion keeps saying that dogs are filthy, dogs are dirty, and then we find that Allah Himself have a dog. Ho ho. Okay, I don't fear the dog. I don't fear Allah neither His dog. Where is His dog? <laughs> if you go to the chapter, it's called An Najm, which means the star. Okay. Let us try first. Uh, if we can go here in the Islamic website here, <clears throat> here you will see in chapter 53, verse number one. And this is what is more, more funny about the Quran. You will see here a story which is weird, doesn't make sense. By the star when it goes down. Actually in Arabic it says Hawa, which means fail. Like he is failing so fast. Like when you fail from like high floor, or you throw something in deep well of water. So this is what Hawa mean. So when the star fell down, your companion, this is about Muhammad, has neither gone astray nor has erred. What is that? Nor does he speak of his own desire. It's only an inspiration that inspired. Okay, what does this have to do with this? If you read the chapter to the end, you will go not crazy with the stupidity. Because here it says that Allah, he came down on a robe. The Muslim, to fix it, they say this is Jibreel. But this is cannot be Jibreel. Why? Because here it says, so he conveyed to his slaves. So if Jibreel is the one who they come down, you see how they try to fix it? So, did Allah convey his inspiration to his slaves? And then they go back to Jibreel. So, according to this verse, Allah, he came down on a rope. It says, Fatadalla. Tadalla is, is not something like coming down only. It is uh, uh, like when you put the cradle or the, the, the thing you grab the water from the water well. With the rope, that is what tadalla. Something coming from above, usually it's a rope coming down, a person going down with it, or the rope itself coming down, or something attached to it. So, thumma dana fatadalla. Okay, who is the one? The Muslim. They try to fix it, and they lie saying Jibril, when there is nowhere it says Jibril. Even the verse before it says that this person, he is the mighty in power, but this is not, cannot be Jibreel. The mighty in power, God is almighty. It says here, it is only an inspiration. So if it's Jibreel, Jibreel is not the one who make inspiration. He is just a delivery guy. So all the story here is stupid, but the, the reason we mention this chapter, because just verse number one, if you go and read it, you will find a story behind it that Muhammad, he threatened his cousin, who don't want to believe in Islam. If you don't believe in Islam, Allah will send his dog to kill you, to eat you. Let me see if we can find that in Ibn Kathir or, you know, in those Islamic websites. We go here, try chapter 53, verse number one. Let us see the Seer al Jalalain. Uh, there is nothing. Let us see the book of Asbab al Nuzul, which means the reason for the verses to come down. Uh, there is nothing. Let us go to uh, Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, by the way, the Muslim, they consider him a scholar. For me, he is just like a YouTuber in his time. All of them, they are potatoes. None of them is a scholar. But, you know, every time have a YouTuber. At that time, there is no YouTube. There is the right books. But he's a donkey like the rest. 
So if we go here, 53, let us see. Verse number one. Al-Bukhari recorded from Ab that Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said, Surat al-Najm was first surah in which a prostration was revealed to the Prophet. What? It's the first surah. Remember, this is the first surah was given to Muhammad. First surah. This is contradiction, what they say in different place. And prostrated those who were with him did the same except the old man who took a handful of soil and prostrated on it later on i saw him killed as a disbeliever as omayya etc etc says let us continue if we can find the story about the dog maybe here we will not find it i guess we have to switch to the arabic let us go to the Arabic. Always in English, Muslim, they uh, hide stories. <clears throat> the same website we mentioned before, we, we showed you this one, remember? In Arabic, we can find the story in Arabic. Let me show you. So here it says, he said to his cousin, أَمَا تَخَافْ أَنْ يَأْكُلُكَ كَلْبُ اللَّهِ In red, do you see it? So when you translate, I don't know if the red will stay. Let us use it, try it. Translate in English. Here we go, actually. Coming in English in red. Still, wonderful. Aren't you afraid that the dog of Allah will eat you? <laughs> And then what happened, this guy was in a trip to Yemen. In his way, he heard the sound of a lion. Because, remember, he's a dog, but he have a voice of a lion. Because come on, the dog of Allah is not like any dog. <laughs> and he ate him, brother. <laughs> Here it says, uh, it says, and Abi Lahab said, I thought he was, peace be upon him, said, be careful not to be eaten by the dog of Allah. <laughs> Oh boy. Can you write a Quran like the Quran? Allah coming in the rope. And he is almighty. And then Allah became Jibreel because it's so, they are so confused who is the one who coming down. And he got so closer. And then his cousin don't want to believe in Islam. So Allah he sent his dog to eat him. Okay, why Allah don't send his dog to eat everybody don't believe in Allah? Why the dog is hated in Islam? Because dogs can smell evil, can sense evil. Obviously, Muhammad, he hated the dog because he's an evil man. Dogs go crazy when they see him. So those animals, they have a special sensation. And this is why Muhammad, he ordered to kill all the dogs. Because the dogs hate him. Not a single one like him. And then because he is very filthy racist, he claimed that the black dog is specifically is the devil. He fear black dogs. Even there is one of the, uh, the, the companion of Muhammad. He asked Muhammad, what is the difference between a black dog or a red dog or, you know, he says the black dog is the devil. 